But first, tonight at 9, a Kansas-based roofing company is taking Iowa's insurance regulators to federal court. Shamrock Roofing says state rules that ban contractors from helping with insurance claims are unconstitutional. Iowa's News Now investigative reporter Nick El Hodge is live in studio with more on this legal battle and what it could mean for Iowa homeowners. Nicole, Iowa state law says only licensed public adjusters can negotiate insurance claims. Shamrock Roofing says regulators have told them that they can't even talk to customers about these insurance claims, something the company says isn't just bad for business and customers, but also violates contractors' rights to free speech. They want to muzzle us so that insurers don't pay the fair claim what they're supposed to pay. I mean, how ridiculous is that? They want to vilify the contractors instead of helping the consumers. This summer, the Iowa Insurance Division issued a cease and desist, accusing Shamrock Roofing of crossing the line into public adjusting. Shamrock's owner, Garen Armstrong, says the letter lacks clarity, making it tough to know how to comply. It's very vague about what a person can say and what a person can't say. When we're just trying to help somebody who doesn't know, only 2% of people know what a public adjusters are. So they don't know to call a public adjuster. And mind you, a public adjuster only pick up claim that's $50,000 and more because they're getting 10% off the job. So it doesn't make sense for them to take a, a job that's $50,000 or less because it's a lot of work. Martin Grace, an insurance expert at the University of Iowa, says it's important for contractors to stay out of the claims negotiation process. A public adjuster isn't allowed to be the contractor for the home that they are adjusting. That's a conflict of interest. You can get someone that has a fiduciary duty or responsibility to you, like a homeowner's agent, if you will. Having the repairman in the process sort of makes the, the repairman's interest paramount. But Armstrong argues the issue goes beyond consumer protection. He says the regulations have already impacted Shamrock's growth in Iowa, accusing the state of favoring insurance companies over contractors and homeowners, creating an anti-business environment. I absolutely think they're lap dogs for insurance companies, unfortunately. Vilifying the, the contractor is the wrong way to go about it, and it makes it an anti-business friendly state. I've slowed down recruiting, I've, I've pulled back on marketing, and I've pulled back the plans on expansion into the Quad Cities. Grace says he wouldn't be too surprised if the federal court does indeed find that the regulations are too vague or overly restrictive. You can't have, especially about speech, a law that prohibits speech and no one will tell you what you can and cannot say. That's just too vague and the law is unconstitutional. Iowa should be able to provide some idea about what, what kind of speech is prohibited and what kind of behaviors are prohibited. In the meantime, Shamrock Roofing says it's ready to fight for its right to operate in the state and that they are already planning to put up billboards about their cause in Des Moines and TV ads across the airways. We'll bring you the latest updates as the case progresses. Reporting in studio, Nicole Hodge, Iowa's News Now.